first up, we have a storyteller who is by far and wide the most fabulously dressed person here tonight, so competition's over. It's not a competition. It is a competition. Please welcome to the stage, Eno Inwak. <laughs> Your writer is T. Wen. I finally found something that I love to do that brings me joy. Riding a bicycle. Yeah. It's amazing. Not an expensive mountain bike, but a simple beach cruiser. <laughs> From Venice Beach all the way to Malibu. It's amazing. I ride, I ride this bike myself, this thing goes up. I found this little place in Venice that let me have the bike for $5 instead of $10. They like me. I like me too. It was amazing. I do this thing where I go from Venice to Malibu, and in my head, I'm Lance Armstrong. I go by all these riders who are just slow. In my head, I'm competing with them. They don't know it. And I gush past them, and as soon as I get by them, woo! I let my hands go up. It's amazing. I feel refreshed. I do this several times, and I share this story with my friend Antonia. She says, I need to come to Venice Beach with you, and I say, you should come. Get your life. She comes with me. Actually, before she decides to come, I tell her, we're going to go in a month, because Antonia is always late, so I had to give her some notice. <laughs> I gave her a month notice, and a day before it was time, I said, listen, we're going at 6 o'clock in the morning, because these people have decided to open the store earlier to accommodate you, and I'm also going to have amazing breakfast for you. I'm going to have croissants donuts, fresh squeezed orange juice, and your favorite baklava. She was excited. I was excited. We get to Venice Beach. Actually, I called her. I said, but it's time for us to do this beach thing. And she says, you know, it's too early for me. I'm not a morning person. But I gave you a month notice. <laughs> she said, you didn't ask me. We get there, and she says, well, I'm open. I get there. The guy gives me my bike. The handles of the bike have hamburgers. This makes me excited the whole time, because I know I'm going in and out when it's over. <laughs> I am excited for Antonia. I said, Antonia, choose your bike. And she looks at me and says, for what? We're going to Malibu. And she says, but I don't know how to ride a bike. <laughs> Wait, at what point in the month did you not know you don't know how to ride a bike? <laughs> and she said, you didn't ask. Really? Without skipping a beat, the guy says, don't worry, I have the answer for you. A tandem bike. We both say, what is a tandem bike? He brings out this bike that looks like it has 50,000 seats. And I'm supposed to get at the front and have this person behind me. And I tell her, I told you, you know I have this experience where I go from Venice to Malibu, pretend like I'm Lance Armstrong, go by all these people, and when I pass them, I go, woo! You can't do that on a tandem bike. And she says, you can. I'll just be behind you. I was so upset but I stuck to the plan. We got to Santa Monica, which is halfway between. I decided, I think I should leave her here. <laughs> but I said, she doesn't deserve to go to Malibu. We're going back to Venice. We get to Venice, and I decide, I'm just going to go ahead and show her this breakfast. And sort of, I, I put the breakfast out. We're sitting there by the sand, the croissants, and she is not even annoyed. As a matter of fact, on the way back, she starts to go, woohoo, on the way. Really? It's my ride. <laughs> We're enjoying this spread. And then she gets comfortable. She puts on her big Hollywood glasses, and she starts to lie in the sand. And then all of a sudden, I remember that she doesn't care for birds. Guess what they have at Venice Beach? <laughs> Seagulls. So she's sleeping there with her glasses, Hollywood style, and I begin to put the baklava all around her. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what happens? The seagulls happen. And she wakes up and she's screaming. And I'm like, ooh! And she's why didn't you tell me? What's all this? But you didn't ask. Thank you. 